this is the video you have all been waiting for <laughs> today we're going to reveal the prompts for this year's defamorember a series in which we create fun ephemera in december hosted together with my dear friend louisa heinzel and this year also with little effie <laughs> welcome it's barbara from vienna austria so, so far we have made a basket or a bowl out of fabric scraps to hold our paper scraps. We have little Effie on the bottom here. We have a cute charm with Effie here. And if you're not familiar with Effie yet, our little Effie is our little craft buddy this year and he's going to be helping us out or maybe he'll be into a little mischief. We will see. We will get to know Effie throughout the Femorember a little more, but I'm hoping little Effie will be helpful. <laughs> We've also created a journal. In my case, I have made a soft cover journal out of a ring binder. And we've made Effie come to life by creating this version of him. So if you missed any of these videos, you can find them in the playlist linked below this video. Do you need any or all of these things to participate in Defemorember? No, of course not. These are all just options we're sharing with you to make Defemorember more fun and more memorable. But of course, you do what works for you. There are no rules. It's all just fun and inspiration from us to you. So back in August, we asked for your prompt suggestions and you all amazed us with over 600 unique ideas. Your response was incredible and we cannot thank you enough for your input. So Defemorember would not exist without you, obviously. So Louise and I put all your suggestions into a super long list. We reviewed all of them. <laughs> in many 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 hours and in the end we came up with 16 prompts for you for this year and we are super excited to share this with you and we've got even more surprises in store for you throughout this video so make sure you stick around until the very end so let us put all of this aside sweet little effie can stay with us let me share the prompt list Ta-da! So I printed this on an A4 sheet so that it's big enough for you to read on screen. Of course, you can find the links below this video. It is a freebie, of course. And the first thing I think you notice when you look at this are the blanks. So as we have mentioned in previous videos this year, we have 16 prompts. And actually it was not easy deciding on how to make this work throughout December because we contemplated a few different options, maybe just listing them one to number 16, but then that gets mixed up with the dates of December since we're not posting a video every day. So this was the solution. And by the way, can, we, can I just give a shout out to Louisa for designing this whole beautiful list? Isn't it just fabulous? So just to explain this a little bit, on December 1st, we have an opening video to officially welcome Defemorember. And we also have a little surprise for you there. So be sure not to miss that. And then our first official prompt will be on December 4th, which is a Monday. So you have the weekend free still to prepare whatever you still need to prepare. Last minute preparations for December. And then on December 4th, we will start with our prompts. So the first one here is a butterfly and three torn things. So we then have prompts through Monday through Thursday. So that's December 4th, 5th, 6th, and 7th. And then you have three days, which are blank here, in which you can either rest, <laughs> you can catch up playing with any of these prompts in case you didn't have time during the week. Or you can add your own prompts. Maybe you had a prompt suggestion you really liked, but we didn't choose it. So you can add that in here and continue working Friday through Monday. We will have more videos than the following week, Monday through Thursday, and then you have again three days break. 
the next week and so on off throughout december 28th so louise and i will be posting a video i will have the english one louise will post an english and a german one we will use the same prompts so again, if you have your own channel, if you're on social media, we would love for you to participate by sharing this list with you. Now you have some time to start filming if you want to film ahead and please use the hashtag defemorember to post your videos and your posts on Instagram. So little Effie here is super, super excited. This is of course his first defemorember. And I have the feeling there's something brewing inside of him. I have the feeling he's going to surprise us with something. So I'm very curious what little Effie is going to come up with. I hope it's something fun. <laughs> so stay tuned for whenever that will happen. But for today, our next surprise is we have another freebie for you, which I will show you here on my screen. So we have three more pages for you. So you see here the list you have in German and in English, and you have other elements here, which we're going to print out together. And then we're going to create a fun little folder to put the prompt list into, and we're going to decorate that. So these are the three pages from the freebie. So I'm just selecting that first one and I'm going to say print. I'm going to make sure that it only has one selected and not all three. And then I'm going to also change the quality of the print. So I go to media and quality and I change from normal to best quality and I hit print. So this is how it comes out on my printer. And then I put it back into my printer drawer face up because my printer prints face down. Please double check how it prints on your printer. And I print then the next page. So here again, I'm at my printing software and I say print and I select this background page from Louise to print on the other side. Again, I'm of course changing the print quality to best quality. And I'm going to hit print again. And if all goes well, your printer will have printed that on the other side. So we have a double sided page now. Then we also need to print the third page, which is going to be a single sided page. Again, I'm just choosing that one page. And I'm just printing that normally, just making sure again, it's one page, not all three. Again, I'm changing the quality and then I'll just hit print to print that one single page. So I have my pages here. So this was the third page. I just printed, it's blank on the back. I printed everything on 200 GSM cardstock because I like to have sturdy elements. If you only have copy paper, do not worry. Just print it on copy paper. That's totally fine. If you want a more sturdy option, you just glue your copy paper onto some cardstock. Also, if you're not experienced with printing back to back like we did and you don't want to attempt that, just print them out regularly, not back to back and glue the pages together. That is also an option. So now what we have to do is just cut out all the elements and then we start creating our pocket. So just in case you have not heard it before, our little Effie here <laughs> is a short form of ephemera. And I actually hope he's going to help me cut out some of these elements. <laughs> Okay, he just told me he's not going to actually help me cut out the elements. He's more here for advice. He's not actually going to physically help me with things. But he did give me the advice that a one and a half inch circle punch is going to work perfectly for this circle image. So thank you, Effie. And by the way, the images you see on these freebies are part of Louisa and my digital kit, which you can also find below this video. So we both have background and ephemera kits in our shops. 
so this image for the inside of the folder is part of my digital kit and the outside this beautiful beach landscape is part of Louise's ephemera kit so lastly we just have all of these to cut out so Effie just told me that uh, unfortunately we don't have a tool for these half circles and the corners so we're just going to have to cut these by hand so once we have everything cut out we can go ahead and fold whoops we can fold oh, there's another one <laughs> we can fold our little folder so we see there's a line here in the design so that's our first fold we just fold it inwards or actually it probably makes more sense to fold it outward first because that's easier to see where the line is i'll take a bone folder to make sure that's a nice crease And then I'll fold that in. And then you see a faint line here. So that's where the other fold is going to go. Again, I think I'll fold it this way first. And then I'll fold it back in. So we have this now, we have the flap here and it opens like this. And before I continue now, I will ink up all of my edges of all of the ephemera and my prompt list with a walnut stain. I feel so relaxed just looking at this scene. I love all the images that Louise came up with for her digitals, all the different scenes of Effie's life. It's just so fun. My kit with the mushrooms is a much more generic kit. I have Effie on six of my 14 pages in the kit. So, so I think this kit can also be used easily for other journals or other projects, even if you're not doing Defemorember. So I'm also going to ink up these folds. On both sides yeah and then I'll do the rest of the ephemera I received a question on my video where I introduced my paper kit for defemera ember when we made the binder asking if you need to purchase the defemera ember downloads to participate in defemera ember and of course the answer is no it's just an option we will be working with a variety of papers. We will definitely be using some of the Defamer Ember papers, but we will also be working with other papers. So again, either use what you already have or use another kit that you enjoy. Or if you want to do what we're doing, feel free to download our kits. And I want to say a huge, huge thank you to all of you who have already purchased my Defamer Ember kit. So I have everything inked up and now we can add a pocket or a tuck spot to add our prompt list into. So there's two options here. For example, oops, <laughs> for example, we have this tuck spot which matches the design perfectly. So the design continues seamlessly when we add this tuck spot. How cool is that? So again, huge shout out to you, Louise, for creating this very, very fun freebie. So we could put that here, but we also have this pocket. We don't have to use everything that's here. These are all options. We could also put the pocket here and add the prompt list into. I would not add the tuck spot here because then we have him twice as much as I love him, but <laughs> that's kind of overdoing it. We also, of course, have a back side here onto which we could add the pocket if we wanted to. I think I will just add the tuck spot here. I'm just contemplating. I think I might want to, oh, I forgot to ink up this side. 
So before I attach this here, I'm going to take this to my sewing machine and just stitch around here and here like that. Wonky stitch. And then I'm just going to glue that down. So we can put our prompt list in here, fits perfectly. I should probably wait till the glue is dry, but just so you have an idea. I'm not going to stick it in all the way for now because I don't want it to get stuck. And then I'm going to add this pocket right here. Again, I will just stitch around the three edges. So let's glue this one on as well. And this pocket could be used for anything you want. Maybe you want to add some notes or jot down some ideas, some brainstorming for some of the prompts or some ephemera you want to use in your next prompt creation or whatever. Then we have this label that says prompt list defemorember and this one will go here on the flap. How do we want it? Do we want it like this? No, I think I want one facing like that. And I also want this to close because look how this flap is sticking up. So we have various options. We could either just make a slit here so that we can tuck this in. We could glue something here where we could stick it in. We have some options here. For example, we could take this round one and just glue it here, maybe like that. And that will then just tuck under there. You could, of course, use magnets. You could use Velcro. There's many different options. We could also, no, this is a bit small. We could use this label maybe. Nope, don't like that. I think this round image is perfect. So little Effie here just told me he would love to have a little bit of a soft texture on this folder as well. So yes, Effie, you're totally right. We need something more tactile than just gluing this down. So what we're going to do is to take our hole punch again. If you don't have a hole punch, just take this and trace it. I'm going to cut out another circle. So this is going to go underneath and in between we can add some cheesecloth. But first let me just ink up those edges as well. So I have some, this is actually not cheesecloth. This is a net from potatoes. <laughs> from the supermarket and it's super soft. I think this would work very nicely. So I'll cut off a piece. Let's sandwich that in between my two layers. I need more parts sticking out. So I'll add those cut off pieces. like this but i also want some more contrast so i will add some black thread sandwich that in between as well so that we have some threads sticking out on the edges like that so now i just glue this together Turn it around, I'll glue it from the other side. Okay, so now we just need to find the perfect spot to glue this on so that it's easy enough to take the flap out and so that it doesn't open too easily. So maybe like that. So I'll just glue it until half like 
that. You could also put double-sided tape. And then we'll place that here. So now it stays closed and it's also easy to open. So we have some more fun elements to play with here. We have these two labels, so why not take this bigger label or should we try the smaller one? The smaller one is too small because I want to write notes on here. Yeah, I think that's really cute. So I'm going to use my clickable alphabet stamps. I will link these from Amazon for you below. They are not magnetic. I know they might look magnetic, but they just hold together by these things here and these have holes and then you just put them together. I love them dearly. I'm just going to use my Walnut Stain Distress Oxide. And hopefully I don't mess it up. <laughs> And I think this also needs a bit of this netting underneath. And of course the black thread. And then this little label, I think I'm going to put that on the back side here because here it doesn't say the year and I don't think it would look so great on the front here. Well, I could put it here, but it looks kind of crowded already. So I'd rather put it on the back side, I'll put it either here or down here. I think I prefer down here just because it blends in a little better. And I'm going to stamp 2023. I have these small numbers. So I'll again use the Distress Oxide. Hopefully there's enough space because these are not that small. Oops, that is so not lined up. <laughs> oh my goodness. Barbara, let go of perfection. It's fine. We're going to breathe deeply and just let it go. <laughs> so this one I'll just glue on as it is. And then going back to the inside, I want to add some papers in here so that I have some papers ready to go to add some notes onto. So I have this box of coffee dyed paper scraps. So I will choose, if, oops. So I will choose a few of these and make a little paper pad out of it. So I'll just tear these to a width that will fit in this pocket and I want them all to be different. Yeah, so this is the maximum size I want to add. So I can use this now as a template to make sure that none of my other pages are wider or taller than that one. They don't all have to be exactly rectangular, although that is my comfort zone. <laughs> Let's go out of our comfort zone. Defemerember is also a lot about trying new things and going out of your comfort zone to learn new things. Okay, I think that's enough for now. So I'm just going to mix those up. I'll decide what I want on the front, maybe this one. And then I'll just 
mix these a little bit. Align them on the top. And then I think I'm just going to staple those together. I shared this cute stapler in a previous video and I had bought this locally. So I unfortunately, I cannot share this exact one. It also doesn't have a name of a company on it, unfortunately. And one of you <laughs> wrote in the comments that you wanted to find this, but and then you typed in funky stapler, I think on Amazon. And you were amazed at how many fun stapler designs there were. So if you need a funky stapler, maybe that's something you want to check out. <laughs> then hmm, we still have this ticket. We could put that on top. No, I don't like that. What about two of these? Oh, that would be the perfect width. Let's see what that would look like. Let's cut these in two. Let's ink up that edge. Mm -hmm. I could have also just stapled that on top. Or actually, this is a bit wide because I don't want to lose that much space. So let me try folding this in half and see if I can just put that over the paper pad. Mm -hmm. So if I want to hide the staples, I could just glue it on or I could just staple right through that. I think I will glue this on. By the way, I have to show you, I just made a new glue bottle dangle. How cute is this? <laughs> I love all the sparkles and the pinks. My previous one was blue. Wait, I'll show you that one as well. So this was my previous one and I've had this for so many years and I just thought I need an update. So now I'm so happy with this one. <laughs> and it looks so cute on the art glitter glue bottle because it fits so well together with the colors of the art glitter glue. <laughs> And if you want to know how to make these, I followed a tutorial by Tracy Fox. So if you search on YouTube for Tracy Fox glue bottle dangle, you will find this. It's a, it's an old video. It's at least three years old, but it's great and it's a lot of fun. And the reason why you need this is because when you buy these metal tips, these come separately from the art glitter glue bottle. Then it comes with a pin and that pin gets lost so easily on your craft desk. I have lost all of the ones I had. So then I use a pin, you know, for making jewelries that already has the loop on top and that fits in there perfectly. And then just, I can just add my dangle on top with a jump ring. Super cute, super practical. Obviously it has a dragonfly on it. <laughs> so let's glue this on. I cannot imagine my crafting life without this glue and this metal tip. I know there are other glue bottles in which you could fill your glue, but I don't have good experiences with those. I always find that uh, it clogs up the metal tips. And since I'm using this one, I'm just so happy with it. So let's ink that up as well. So these are ready to go. If I need more, I can obviously just make another paper pad. So these can go in here. Perfect. And then I have all these little parts here, which I'm not using right now, but I obviously want to keep for future use. So I want to put them in something because if I just put them in here, they are going to get lost or even in here, they will fall out. So I want them to be in some sort of a pocket. I'm going to make my life easy and just use something I already created. I first thought I could put it in one of these. This is from my ephemera. This would be page eight. This is where I got the tags from that I put on the spine of my journal. And it has these two cute coin envelopes, but I just realized that <laughs> these are too small. Obviously, this one would work because I would cut this in half. But this ticket here, 
is unfortunately too big and I do not want to cut that up. The other option is I have this one from page nine, but this is of course much bigger. I'm not sure that's what I want to do. No, I think I really like these small coin envelopes. So I will cut one of these out and then I'll just have this extra because this won't get lost. So I'll just use it for these little parts here so that they don't get lost. So little Effie here just confided in me that even though he looks quite calm on the outside, he's just bursting on the inside to get started with these prompts. He's a little bummed that he has to wait 10 more days to get started. I'm so sorry, Effie. It's actually more because if you count December 4th, which is when we'll actually be starting to work on the first prompt, it's 14 days, Effie. I'm so sorry. Yeah, I don't think he's going to be able to wait this long. So let's see what he's going to come up with. <laughs> he has a mischievous look on his face. So <laughs> I'm curious what he's thinking right now. It's so cute to have a little craft buddy this year. This is the first and I, I feel much more at ease because I know he's here. He can help me. He can make decisions with me. I don't have to make all the decisions on my own. He can help me when I'm stuck. I really appreciate that. Okay, do we put anything here on the flap? Okay, so Effie said I should just also stamp 2023 on the flap here. So that's what I'll do. This time I'm going to use my 12 digit roller stamp. I will also link one of these for you below. They have letters and numbers. And this is just easier. And it's also smaller. So now we can just glue these together. Okay, so let's put our little parts inside. Okay, so I'm going to put the coin envelope in here with my notes and then I'll stick the tickets in here into my tuck spot. Let's close this up. And let's find a place in our journal. I think I need a pocket, don't I? Would probably make sense to add a pocket here to the front so that I always have that ready to go. So I'm going to use the same fabric that I used on the inside cover here. And this one is by Seth Apter and it's called Printed Matter. Love this fabric so much. So I'm just going to make a super simple pocket that obviously needs to be wide enough <laughs> to accommodate our little folder. And I'll make it this tall and this wide. And I will sew around these three edges like that. Just two lines of wonky running stitch. And I'm simply going to glue this on with my art glitter glue. Usually I use some textile glue for fabric, but this is just such a small piece. It will be fine. You can use PVA glue. And since I have this print out here, I'm going to cut this prompt list out here and also the 2023. So I want to add these onto the pocket, but I think I want something underneath. So I'm going to take this fabric by Tim Holtz and I can just put those on there to make them stand out a bit more against this fabric. So I'll put that one there and then we need one for the year. I'll ink around this one and then again glue those on. And 
And before I adhere these to my pocket, I'm going to add a non-stick paper in between because of course the glue would go through the pocket and then we would close our pocket. This is just the back of a sticker sheet. So once that has dried a bit, I can remove this and I can add my ephemera, not my ephemera folder, my promptest folder. <laughs> Perfect. So Louise has her own design. She's going to make the same kind of folder for the prompts, but she has a different design. So let's go check out Louise's video next to see what she is using because I also haven't seen it. I'm super curious and to see what kind of folder she will make for her prompt list. So I promised you another surprise at the end. So Louise and I will do our first Instagram live ever, not including our impromptu test session we had a while ago where some of you managed to join spontaneously. That was so much fun. So we will be live on Instagram in two days, Wednesday, November 22nd at 7 p.m. Central European time. I will add a time conversion link in the description box below for you to help you figure out what time that is for you locally. So just click on my or Louise's Instagram account and jump on the live. You don't need any link or anything. Just hop on at the top. You will see the circles where you usually see the stories and you just hit our icon. You will see that Louisa and my icon overlap each other. So my icon, I think, will be on top because I will be the initiator of the live and I will connect with Louise. So you will see our two logos overlap. You just click on that and then you'll be in the live. And don't worry if you miss it because you can always watch the replay on Instagram later. You can find that in our feeds. We are so excited and little Effie here will, of course, be there as well. So we hope you'll join us there to ask any questions you have about the prompts or about the Femoremember in general or just to hang out. <laughs> I'm sure it will be fun in any case. So hope to see you there. Love you guys. Mwah.